pastor lately. Well, for one, as I'm speaking to the globe earth believers, you guys believe that you're on a spinning ball going through outer space, and but as also at the same time, you believe in falling stars. Well, if there's no gravity in space, how does a star fall? Why does it go sideways or up? Why does it always fall down if there's no gravity in space? Okay, well, for one, there's no space. Now, here's the answer for my truthers out there. Now, the Testament of Solomon, just like the Book of Enoch, uh, all these books were stripped from the Bible because they tell us what all these things are that surround us on this earth and what's going on up in the heavens and how everything is made. So, with that being said, let's look and see what Scripture says falling stars are. Okay, Solomon 113. And when they were gone, I ordered Omias to be brought forward and said to him, Tell me how you know this. And he answered, We demons ascend into the firmament of heaven and fly about among the stars. And we hear the sentences which go forth upon the souls of men. And forthwith we come, and whether by force of influence, or by fire, or by sword, or by some accident, we veil our act of destruction. And if a man does not die of some untimely disaster or by violence, then we demons transform ourselves in such a way to appear to men and be worshipped in our human nature. Therefore, having heard this, this glorified the Lord God. And again I questioned the demons, saying, Tell me how you can ascend into heaven, being demons, and amidst the stars and the holy angels intermingle. And he answered, Just as things are fulfilled in heaven, so also on earth are fulfilled the types of all of them. For there are principalities, authorities, world rulers, and we demons fly about in the air, and we hear the voices of the heavenly beings and survey all powers as having no ground or basis on which to alight and rest we lose strength and fall off like leaves from trees and men seeing us imagine that the stars are falling from heaven but it is not really so king but we fall because of our weakness and because we have nowhere anything to lay hold of and so we fall down like lightnings in the depth of night and suddenly, and we set cities in flames and fire into fields. For the stars have firm foundations in the heaven, like the sun and the moon. Now, did you pay attention to what that said right there? For the stars have firm foundations in the heaven, like the sun and moon, which means they can't fall. They are firmly put there for eternity. Stars do not fall. Demons fall. And I just showed you that in Scripture. It's really, really simple you're being lied to about your whole reality and i'm trying to teach you the real reality it's time to wake up and quit believing these lies that these people have been feeding to you for centuries now and what you got to ask yourself is why all the books that were stripped from the bible are the books that explain to us everything that's going on in the sky and what all these things are made and how they were made and ain't it funny that all those are stripped from the Bible and the only information you are given about everything up in the sky and all around you now is given to you by NASA? Hmm. These are not fallen stars. These are the demons, the evil spirits bound here for eternity until a judgment day. Stars are angels, just as the scripture of Enoch says. And that is why it's called a falling star. And they even hide it in the intro of Paramount movies, The Fallen Angels Descending on Mount Hermon. The Book of Enoch, Chapter 6. And the angels, the children of the heaven, and there were in all two hundred who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon because they'd sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. Now the stars will fall from the sky someday at the end of times, like the book of Revelation says. But but the ones that you see in this day and time that you think are falling from the sky, those are demons.